friends, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, so today we'll be discussing an interesting question from Read Code, House Rubber 2. Uh, if you're watching, uh, just go and watch House Rubber 1. The link for that video is in the description because that uh, the algorithm which we'll be using in this video has explained in that video. Just so just go and, and check that out. In this question, we are given uh, a houses in the form of matrix or a vector. For example, one, two, three, one. In this, every element represents a house and uh, the maximum loot that the house contains. For example, the first house contains one, second two, third three, and fourth is one. And we are told that we need to help this robber to gain the maximum loot he can gain from these houses. So in robber one, in house robber one problem, we are, uh, the condition wa given was if the house, if the robber robs the first house, he cannot go for the second. He can go for third, so he cannot drop the adjacent house. But in this in this pro, in this problem of house uh, robber second, the condition given is that first element and the last element are adjacent to each other. So if the robber house, if the robber robs the first house, he cannot drop the last house. So we'll be using the exact algorithm which we used for the robber house one. So how we'll be going to use? For example. This is the uh, uh, vector or a vector or array which we are given and uh, so we'll be doing the same algorithm uh, to find the maximum loot for the first half first half uh, for the first part which is which will start from index 0 and will go to the last element last second last element for the index 2 and uh, this will give us some some amount of loot we'll be storing that in integer a and we'll be using the same algorithm for find the maximum loot from index 1 till the last so this will give us some integer b and at the end we'll be taking the maximum of a comma b and we'll be just returning that to the main function and we'll be returning to the function from where it is called so we'll be using this algorithm uh, we'll first check if the number of houses are zero in means like there is no houses so in that case we'll just return zero if there is only one house so we'll just return the first element because there is only one house to loot so the thief just take the loot if there are two houses so the thief will take whichever loot is maximum Now we'll be making a function checker in which we'll be passing our nums comma the zero and the last element We'll making a variable num stored size. So we'll be passing from zero to and minus two because we are not including the last element. And in this, we'll be passing first element to the last element. First index to the last element last house so uh, whichever gives us maximum we'll just return that element so we'll just return max of a comma b now we'll be writing our helper function which is checker so it is in type checker so we are taking a vector 
of int will be calling at is is at nums comma in starting point comma end point so first we'll be checking the size so we'll be taking int and the size will be nothing but end minus st plus one so we'll make a vector of int which will store our values of maximum root we'll call as dp so the dp's first element or dp of 0 dp of 0 is nothing but the first element or nums of 0 dp of 1 0 means starting point and this will be nothing but dp of 1 is nothing but maximum of first element and the second element which is nothing but index 0 index 1 nums of st plus 1 now we'll just run a loop it will start from st plus 2 it will go all the way to end equals to end i plus now we'll be inserting our dp i minus st is nothing but maximum of nums of i plus dp of i minus st minus second comma dp of i minus st minus 1 so after all this we'll just return dp of end minus st looks fine let's check okay small errors Let's submit the code. Okay, guys, thank you for watching the video. Uh, we'll be doing House Robot 3 in the next video. So just stay tuned and thank you for watching. If you like the video, just subscribe and just share. Thank you.